Welcome to our lecture online, and here's our next optical instrument called the telescope. There's actually not a lot of difference between a telescope and a microscope, although maybe size-wise there is, but they both have an objective lens and an eyepiece. And really the only difference between the two is where the lenses are positioned. Now also, for a telescope, the objective lens has a very long focal length, and for the eyepiece it is short. In a microscope, both lenses tend to have a short uh, focal length. Also, one requirement for a telescope is that the focal length of the objective must be past the focal length of the eyepiece. Those two focal points must be overlapped. Once they are, then you have yourself a telescope. Rays come in from an object far, far away. They go through various portions right here of the lens, but the one that we're interested in is this one right here that goes to the focal point on this side of the lens, hits the lens, refracts, then continues on parallel to the optical axis and forms an image right there called image one from the objective. Then that image becomes the, ob the object of the second lens and you can then see that that ray will then go through here, bend down here to the focal, for, uh, to the focal point right here and the observer sees that ray coming from down here and forms in their brain an image that is much larger right here, which is a virtual image on the same size as the object, and that then offers the magnification of the telescope. So the magnif magnification of this telescope is simply the ratio of the angle formed by the image of the second lens divided by the angle formed by the object coming into the first lens. So this would be the angular size of the object and this would then be the angular size of the second image, which is the image that the observer looks at. So this would be equal to theta sub e divided by theta sub o, the theta caused by the object and the theta caused by the eyepiece looking at the final image. Okay, now we can say that for small angles, the angle theta is equal to the tangent of that angle theta <clears throat> and the definition of tangent is opposite side over adjacent so the angular size of the image formed by the eyepiece is, can be defined as the height of the image here formed by the first lens divided by the focal distance of the second lens so this is equal to the height of the image h so h prime let's call this h prime and divide that by the distance to the focal point that would be uh, f sub e, that would be the focal length right there, and we divide that by the angular size of the object, which would be the height of the image right here, which is h prime, divided by the focal length of the objective lens, which is f sub o. All right, now we have two fractions divided by one another, so this can be written as a product of h prime over f sub e times the inverse of the second fraction, which is f sub o over um, h, uh, h prime and uh, then of course these cancel out and then you can see that it's simply a ratio of the focal length of the objective lens divided by the focal length of the eyepiece and that is the magnification of any telescope so that's pretty easy so for example as an example let's make it a little clearer example let's say that the focal length of the objective is equal to 150 centimeters and let's say that the focal length of the eyepiece is equal to 5 centimeters. All right, and you want to know the magnification of the telescope. M is simply equal to the ratio of the focal length of the objective divided by the focal length of the eyepiece, which would be 150 centimeters, divided by 5 centimeters, which is 30. And so that would be considered the magnification of this particular telescope as an example. Now it turns out that the magnification is not the most important part of a telescope, it really is the size and the quality of the objective lens. The larger the, of the, larger the objective lens, the more light that can enter your telescope and the cleaner and clearer and crisper your image will be. In other words, you'll have a much higher resolution image if you have a much larger objective lens. So it's not so much the magnification, it really is the size of the objective lens that determines the quality of what you're looking at. But anyway, here's how you work with a telescope and how you find the magnification of a telescope.